Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I'm going to discuss with you a special type of Oracle Database role. This role is called Public. Um, it's a hidden role, as you'll see. Now, to understand roles, you have to understand privileges. Uh, what are privileges? Well, a privilege in an Oracle Database, there are two types of privileges. There's a system privilege and an object privilege. A system privilege in an Oracle database allows the DBA to delegate responsibilities and allow other users who aren't DBAs to do certain things in an Oracle database, uh, more specifically to issue certain DBA commands. So a user can uh, create tables with a system. There's a system privilege to allow a user to create tables if they don't have that uh, privilege currently. There is a system privilege to allow a user to shut down and start up an Oracle database. Uh, there's a system privilege to uh, allow a us user to create us other users, okay? So those are system privileges. Um, another the other type of privilege is our object privileges. And object privileges um, are granted by not just a DBA, but can also be granted by regular non-DBA users as well, but only against their objects. Um, a object privilege allows a user to grant... Um, permission to another user to do something against an object that, um, the, 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 that is contained in their schema, um, an object that they own. Okay, so if user Justin owns a table called names, okay, he can give select privilege to user rich. That's called an object privilege. Okay, um, now privileges can be grouped together into something called a role. Okay, and, um, and, um, the Oracle database has a lot has uh, has has predefined ro roles as well about 20 or 30 of them okay and um, one of them and uh, basically what you can what a role is is it's a uh, package of multiple privileges so all you would have to do is grant a role to a user and that user will have all the privileges in that role okay so let's go ahead and let's talk about the public role and how to use it. So um, go ahead and set an Oracle SID to finance and let's ensure our Oracle SID variable is set properly which it is finance. Let's connect to our finance database via the SQL Plus program. Do a show user to ensure we're connected to SysDBA sys, and do a select name from v$ dollar sign database like so select name from v$ dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the finance database which we are now i have i've before this i started this video i logged on to the database and created three users um, oh by the way to understand more about system privileges roles um, and uh, object privileges i have i have videos out there based on that so check out the channel Browse the videos on the channel forum or search YouTube for those videos. Uh, to find out more about creating users and stuff, I also have a video on that on YouTube, so check that out. Okay. I created three users in this database prior to recording this video. First user is Justin. Select username from DBA underscore users, where username is equal to oops, Justin. And I created another user called Rich, and I created a third user called Mark. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so we have three users created in this Oracle database: Justin, Rich, and Mark. Okay. I also gave all of them create session privilege system privileges, which means that they'll be able to log on to the database. Obviously, set their password, and I also, um, but I gave Justin create table privilege, and I'll show you where I'm going with this. So let's log in SQL Plus. Um, enter the login as Justin using my password. Show user. I'm logged in as user Justin. Now I'm going to create a table called names. I'm going to give it one row, row, one row, one one row, <laughs> and this row's name is going to be F name for first name, and it's very it's it's its data type will be variable character 20 characters. Okay, and if we do describe names, we see the structure of the table, 
and select asterisk from name so we see that there's no roles, rows in this table. Now let's insert some data into this table. Insert into names values my girlfriend's name another rich but this will be my father's name and one of my buddy's father's names. We do a commit select asterisk from names and we have some data three ro rows to be ex exact in our F in our names table um, which is owned by the Justin schema okay so now if I log in as user rich show user log in as rich and I do a select asterisk from and I put the schema name just in names it's gonna come back and it's gonna say table review does not exist that's because I did not give rich permission to view to select from that table okay same thing for user mark if user mark were to say select asterisk from justin.names he would get the same message table review does not exist so what we have to do is log in as user Justin and we say grant select on names to rich grant select on names to rich so we're going to grant the object privilege select this is an object privilege as opposed to a system privilege on object names and since there's no schema um, qualifier we have to we, it, or uh, SQL plus assumes that it's in the current schema which it is too rich user rich grant succeeded so now when, we, when user rich attempts to select all the rows from the, my, the Justin's names table he'll succeed See user rich, he'll succeed because he has the object privilege to select. Now, oops. Just because rich has that privilege, how, however, does not mean that Mark has that privilege. Now, let's say that you wanted to give everyone in the Oracle database permission to view that table. Okay? Well, you can. There's a special privilege, and that privilege is called, I mean, role, row, I'm sorry, there's a special a role, and that role is called public. And to grant it, what you do is the following Grant select asterisk on names to public. So this time we're not saying, we're not given a, a, a username like Rich or Mark that we defined. We're saying public. So it's grant select, which is an object privilege as opposed to a, um, to a system privilege, on the object names, and again, Justin is being assumed, to public, which is a special role. Okay. Oops, sorry. I don't know where that asterisk came from. <laughs> there we go. So grant select on names to public. So now we log in as user rich. We're gonna, I mean, you know, we didn't revoke that object privilege, or so we suspect that rich just can do this. Select asterisk from justin.names. He sees the data. Now we connect as user uh, mark. Show user select asterisk from Justin dot name and he can see the data notice how we did not specify how we did public up here notice how we did not um, specifically say or explicitly say anyway um, grant select on names to mark as we, like we did with rich okay we said to public which means that everyone has permission to see that table for instance just to beat a dead horse here because that's how you learn in my opinion if I were to create user Bob identified by Bob123 grant 
create session to Bob and we were to log into the database as Bob show user so I'm user Bob so, and we were to do select asterisk from justin.names he can see the data so the grant on public applies to future users as well okay so anyone can see it and to revoke that as you may have guessed just like any privilege we say revoke select on names from public so instead of two we're saying from so we're saying so instead of grant we're using the opposite revoke and instead of two we're gonna say from because two gives it from takes it away so we're saying revoke select okay the object privilege select on object names from the role the role public revoke succeeded okay show user rich select asterisk from just the names he still can rich user rich can still see the data because that it, that explicit object privilege that we gave to Rich is still in effect. Okay. However, user Mark once again is unable to see the data in the names table owned by Justin, and the user that we just created, user Bob, select the asterisk from Justin.names also is unable to see it, the data in that table owned by Justin because we took what we revoked the, that from public. Um, to see the, ro the, the rows currently, the roles, cur you see, it's, <laughs> when I do that both in the same video, I'm getting confused. To see the roles currently defined, um, defined to the Oracle database, and they're all going to be predefined because I never defined any. Select role from CBA roles. Here are all the, the roles here. There's 20 roles here. There's 20 of them. Okay. And again, these allow, all these have multiple privileges, system privileges assigned to them. Okay. So if you were to grant this privilege, let's say, uh, select underscore catalog underscore role to, to a user, all privileges containing that role, role would be granted to that user um, implicitly. Okay. So let's go. If you type in select role from DBA roles, where role is equal to public, nothing comes up. Okay, even though it is a role. Okay, because it's private. All right, so select role from DBA roles where role is equal to public. Okay, or Oracle won't let you see it because it is a special role. Okay, all right, that's how you use the public role.